I use task cards a lot in my classroom. And so I've got some examples of using these in Schoology assessments. With these, um, I just took screenshots of the PDF that they were in. So in this particular one, the students are just going to drag and drop the answer up into it. This one, I'm actually using some of the tools within Schoology so they can use this protractor and then they'll just type the answer. I'm going to show you how to add the tools to that last example that I gave you. So it was a fill in the blank. And I added the question. And then I like to add the tool at the beginning of the question because it makes it easier, um, I found, for students to find. So we're going to click on this little button that says Tools. It looks like it has a um, calculator and then some music notes. And we want to add the protractor. And click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the image in by clicking on the little picture icon. And going to where I have saved that. And now we have the, the task card. The students will click on the protractor and can find out the angle measure. This one is another drag and drop but there's so many math tools in here that you can use, so I wanted to make sure that you could see this. So I've gone ahead and set this up. It was a fill in the blank, drag and drop. I put the directions and then I put the copy of the task card in. Now to add those math symbols, I'm gonna click on the Sigma. And we've got different keyboards depending on what you wanna use, and I wanna use the angle one. And since we're trying to find the measure of the angles, I'm going to click on the measure of the angle. And then I'm going to type in the letter that I want in the equals and click OK. So now it comes up. And then I'm going to do my underscore for my fill in the blank. So I'll do that for all of the different angles that are in this and then when I want to put my answers I'm going to go back to that keyboard and then I've got that um, degree angles and so I'm going to click in my answers and then I'll do that for all of those once you're done, you end up with all of your measurements with your responses and all of the degrees for your options. And then you, as with the other fill in the blank, you just go up and drag those. Decide if you want to have duplicate responses or not. And if you do the partial match so that they can get some points with that. And then here's the social studies example where they're just going to drag and drop. And instead of just the individual card, I included all four that were on that page. And then they, again, you could just drag and drop the answers up into it.